Hello guys, once again welcome back to Digital Perspective. I hope you all are feeling well and in today's video I am going to show you how to create this advanced typewriting animation in Figma. So let's quickly start it. So first we need to create text blinking animation. So we will create that first. Let me shift this towards the right. Now zoom in. Now select rectangle shape and create a rectangle. Width will be 10 and height would be 90. Perfect. Also change its color according to you. Now select this shape and click on component and add a new variant. Now select the new variant and go to opacity layer opacity and change it to zero perfect now zoom in now shift to prototype mode and select the first shape and drag toward the second change on click to after delay and duration would be 400 ms instant perfect now select the second shape and drag toward the first and change on click to after delay and it would be instant same perfect now create a rectangle let's see whether it's working properly or not now hold alt and drag on the frame to duplicate it and let's play it as you can see guys it's working properly here we are done with the first half of our design now we will create text typewriter animation so we'll shift to second part now to create text typewriter animation first i will write my text so here i'm writing text modern i'll align it to left also i will change line height to 80 perfect now i'll change its color to brown now go to blinking component and hold alt and drag outside and align with the text properly so I'm aligning it perfect now select both text and shape and right click and convert to frame selection perfect now we'll rename it to letter now select the frame and go to properties and turn on the clipping content also select the shape from layer panel and change constraint to top and right perfect now we need to do masking for all the alphabets by creating different variations so i will select first frame and i'll drag right to left completely perfect now i will convert to component and would add new variant i will enlarge the frame component frame now select the second frame and drag left to right it would be our opening animation now add new variant drag right perfect so we have to do this for all alphabets perfect Now we need to create a closing animation so I will add again I will add new variant and I will close the alphabet one by one like this. Perfect. Now I will add new variant for our new text so I will go to layer panel I will select text press enter and change uh, and change the text so here i'm writing stylish perfect now select the variant and drag left to right yes again add new variant and drag left to right again add new variant drag left to right now we need to follow same process as we as we did for first text so 
so here we created the different different variants or alphabet now we need to do prototyping for all the variants uh, to each other so i'll select first frame and shift to prototype mode i will drag first to second and i will change on click to after delay and i will change duration to 200 ms and transition will be instant perfect now to speed up our prototyping so here i have one tip so we can do prototyping very fastly so select the first variant and go to interaction and select the property and press ctrl plus c to copy the property now select the all text all text now i'm selecting first text and i'll go to layer panel and i'll select all the text all the variants and i will press ctrl plus v to paste the property now you can see all the variants are connected with the second variant so now we need to change the uh, dis destination for all the variants to each other uh, for example from 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 like that so i will select second variant and i'll go to property and i'll change variant 2 to variant 3 i'll select variant 3 i'll go to properties and i'll change variant to 4 so like that we need to do for all now last variant should connect to the first variant which is our default variant so i'll select last variant i'll go to interactions i will open the variants and i'll click to default now also i will change the duration to 1 ms perfect then i will change duration for modern and stylish text to 200 ms this will help user to read the text easily so i'll select modern i'll go to interaction i'll change delay to 2000 ms same for the stylish i'll select and then go to interaction 2000 ms perfect now open your web design and First of all, I have to reduce the opacity for this text. So I'll select the text and I'll reduce the opacity to zero. Then I'll go to letter component and I will drag using alt button inside the web design and I would align it properly. Perfect. Now let's see how it's working. I hope it will work properly. So as you all can see it's working properly and perfectly. And I hope you loved and enjoyed. And be sure to hit like and subscribe button if you haven't. And also hit the bell icon for more such like updates. Meet you all in the next video. Bye.